I meant this, the, the karma of staying in bed uh, seemed to have got everybody interested in this one, so I'll, I'll say something about it. Um, okay, we've looked at um, karma through actions, feelings and thoughts, and I've said here we make it every day, we make karma every day, even if we stay in bed. Now, it seems like a very attractive option to, to actually do nothing, to not engage the world, and um, supposedly uh, not generate any karma. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work like that. Um, we're given a physical life, and in, during that life, we will face certain challenges uh, according to what we need to learn. Because life, is, you know, life is a learning process, and if we don't face those challenges, then those challenges will come around uh, possibly in the same life or in a future life. Um, also, if, I mean, okay, you wouldn't stay in bed all day, that's, that's unrealistic, so that's a good idea, but uh, unrealistic. Um, but some people may choose not to engage the world, to do nothing, in order to somehow avoid karma and, and avoid, avoid responsibility. Um, in their lives and that stokes up trouble um, firstly because you if you haven't faced up to things then they will come round again but also um, if you are not engaging the world you're not you're not taking advantage of the opportunities presented to you either the opportunities sort of um, for what you know sort of benefit in in this life or uh, opportunities to learn something um, on a sort of spiritual level, uh, but you're not you're not engaging, and that those opportunities they, they won't come round again. As I see, they, they, you, if you if you throw them away in that like that, they won't come round again, and they may emerge in a future life as disadvantages. So, not engaging the world is basically uh, not an option. So, uh, I would say that. Um, Staying in bed to avoid karma, forget it. <laughs>